Yo, what's up? Back again with another insight blog. Just for this one is for basic for my personal use, my personal memory and recollection. So I don't want nobody to be like thinking like I'm trying. I don't want to get no lawsuits or anything. Plus, I'll leave out information and I don't tell the whole the whole thing. So that way. You can actually uh, go out and get the book yourself and read it. Well, actually, because I'm leaving out a whole bunch of stuff. But the characters will be Ayana, who is the therapist. The main character is Ayana and uh, Cameron and uh, Yasmin. That will be Cameron's uh, ex-wife, or soon-to-be ex-wife. And um and uh this is other Jones when we get to the story I'll tell you most introduce people on along the way because I don't want this video to be that long. But uh <clears throat> as the story goes as the story goes, it starts off with early in early April, like what it is right now. And Ayana was meeting up with Cam. Now at this point, Cam pull up to a wait in a sport. He's sporting a uh, silver uh, Audi A6. A A6. He pulls up to the condo and, and uh, to to uh, the one that they post a view. Now at this point, as they walked through the condo. Which Ayana wasn't interested in. She started to take interest in Cam. So, so, so she proceeded to get personal. You know, she proceeded to to get personal and uh, ask in indirect personal questions. Now, she was trying to figure out if. She was trying to figure out if Cam was single now. So she got throwing hints up and up. So Cam got the hint and uh he he told her he was this bitch straight up with her. I just told her, you know. Uh he told her, okay, I'm married. First off, I'm married. And then he proceeded to say that uh she, the woman, who 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 he was married to, was soon to be his ex-wife. After that, they left in his vehicle to see another condo, which in which I, I presume she fell in love with. And after that, she ain't want to see no more. But like I was saying, they chatted. They chatted for for some more. Cam got um. Cam offer offer her you know, to take her out on the dinner date at Copeland's on 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 on, on Predmont, right? So 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 at that point they meet up again after the date. One thing led to another. They had sex in the park a lot. Garage. On the second date now. This at this at at the same time. Cameron, Cameron didn't feel like he was wrong for having sex with uh he didn't feel like he was wrong for having sex with uh for having sex with 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 with, with uh, Ayana because because at the same time Yasmin I just want to give a be a be back background be update what's going on with Yasmin and her situation because Yasmin soon. Uh, uh, Cam, soon to be ex-wife, was cheating with this guy, so-called Overnight Express. She, they don't never, they never tell you his name. They just that goes by Overnight Express. So one day, right? So one day, Cam called Cam called Yasmin like, "Yo, what's up, Joe? I just seen you at a zoo with." Some dude and my son. What's up with that? Who 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 this guy? You know, so uh, 
So why you ass been gonna say? Yeah, I was gonna say she was. I don't know. She was trying to. She was trying to play. She just. But you know what? She put it all out in the open, and she was like, "You know what? That was my man." You know, she, like, she, she was like, "That was my man." He said, "What?" He said, "He said, he said what?" But he, you know, he just, he kind of just, he he kind of just swallowed it up. You know what I'm saying? It was like, fuck it. Fuck it, you know you hung up on them, and that was that. But later on, that day, uh, yeah, uh, yeah, Yasmin sent. She texted him. She texted him a, uh, she texted him an email saying that uh, she had been unhappy for a long time and. That she found someone else, and she promised that she don't, she don't want the house. Uh, yes, uh, she promised split custody of they child. And I, damn, she, 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 she won't, she won't fight for the house. And ah, damn. So, so, Cam felt. Cam didn't really feel guilty when he was having sex with that young on the second date, but um, this story get interesting. That's where, that's where it all, that's when it all get interesting because, because, uh, because Yasmin about working in the hair salon. See, she heard everything. She heard everything. Shit, shit that nobody knew, but. Certain motherfucker that they were like on the streets, you know what I'm saying? She so she was that basically she heard shit before the news even heard. You know, girls be gossiping in them shops, them hair shops, and they know every motherfucker thing. But she's the motherfucker that work in there, so she, she you know she knew she worked up in there, so she found out that um, and she found she finds out that Cam was sleeping. Cam had had sex with the old girl, and. In uh in the, in, the, in the parking garage, so you know, you know, crazy as it sounds, it, it was true. And she has she, she uh he has sex with old girl and, uh, and in, in the parking garage. And uh and uh, remember I told you that uh, Yana had wrote that book about it was called it's called where my girls at. And uh, ever since then, the people liked her so much. Ever since then, she became a therapist. She actually host. She was actually I offered to host her own house. Now she actually host her own radio show, radio talk show, and everything. So, so as the story goes, Yasmin calls up on her radio show. Now the Quentin, the dude, the the dude, her her uh, I told you. Was was Ayano's radio producer? He actually accepted a call right from uh he he accepted a call from from this caller and and tell me why the caller was like yeah my name Yaz man and uh like she was like uh what she say she was like uh she she broadcast she publicly publicly broadcast that uh. And y'all know what's sleeping with her, man. She be like, you home wrecker. You, you home wrecker. You, you a slut. Sleeping in the car. You fucking my man in some garage. Ooh, 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 ah, damn. So, she bashing her the whole time. Like she wasn't sleeping with that dude. Like, called. That dude, she called Overnight Express. That's crazy. Cause they ain't never said his man real name. But everybody, so after that, everybody was calling, bashing Ayana at that point. So after she after after so after she confronted her, then she went to go confront Cam. Cam was like, he ain't even denied the shit. He was like, yeah, I, what, bitch? We ain't you. We ain't been together. You after you sent me that text, I ain't. Woo-woo. And then he was like, he packed up and left. Then she calls and she she takes she takes overnight express was like yo 
I just did it. He was like, did what? He was like, she was like, I just sent them the text. Ooh, ooh. And she said, she sent them the text. She sent the uh, overnight express the text. She said what she did, right? Overnight express was like, oh, shit. He, he immediately, he, he immediately distanced himself from her. Because I guess he had some shit going on, too. Whatever, he wasn't trying to make it serious. He liked the world the way it was. So, so then Yasmin got the feeling. She got the feeling. Uh, she got the feeling of, I want to say, rejected by both of them. By both of the niggas. Then, then she got the feeling of regret, especially with all the financial support that um that cam that Cameron was giving her. She be, she was be regretting cheating all together. Then she felt jealous of Ayana because because um Ayana Ayana had him. She had him at like third base. He she had him at like third base in like in like in like four months. Cause I swear he got I swear they had got married. They had got married like after they had got married like after four months. Yeah, they had got married like after four months. And when it took when it took Yasmin like it took her like like four years to marry to for this man to marry her. It's crazy. But anyway. Anyway. She uh she was lying to everybody else. She was lying to everybody else, talking about talking about Talking about, um, talking about, um, she was lying, talking about they were still together, and all this and that, to prevent the, uh, to prevent the divorce, to, to, to prevent, of the, of the, uh, uh, the, 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 uh, the divorce settlement, and the judge, the, the judge wasn't supporting Cam's, uh, divorce request, But the story go on, y'all been study, study trying to get back with Cam and he now she just trying to one step at a time. It's gonna happen and study her with faith. But she trying to fight for her man and uh, like any woman, any woman who you know what I'm saying the right man would with a nigga who sell million dollar houses. But anyway. Uh yeah, Ayana, she was she wasn't too happy about it because the all the while they thinking they thinking they think it's uh it's uh is is uh yeah because because Ayana car gets stolen first second then then somebody break into her house. To her new condo, trash everything right on the wall. Home wrecker and break, I mean, break almost all, put holes in almost every wall. And, oh, damn. Then her uh, her brakes get altered on a vehicle to where she almost lost her life. So she run to, she run, she was almost. almost he was almost about to quit, call the quits on uh on camera, but um her identity got stolen, and she uh she was put in debt for like ten thousand, twenty thousand. Man, I don't even know why the hell, how the hell, but uh supposedly the person had bought a house with her stuff. I don't know who, what homeowner would let a nigga buy a house, but whatever it was, she couldn't she couldn't sue the people. She couldn't sue the people or or or, or uh, get out of debt. But anyway, um, it got to the point where Cam got arrested for uh sexual harassment at at a a Yana, at a Yana baby shower. This funny as hell, cause they had like almost like four five like two uh, uh, I think like three hundred people there. That's the baby shower. That's good. And then she finds a burnt baby. Somebody brought a gift, and she opened the gift. 
after uh after after Cameron got arrested, he opened the gifts. He opened the went to the house, opened the gifts. Somebody sent them a burnt baby doll. Talking about and he had a little sticky note saying rock a baby on her. So that's dumb as hell. Whoever did that, they ain't never find who did it. So to make a long story short, Cam got out of jail. Cam when he got out of jail, he uh he uh he went to go see his mom, talk about his mom and stuff. But anyway, his son, the uh, child, uh Yasmin, him him and Yasmin child, shit man, that nigga got kidnapped. Man, that's when that's when um uh, yeah, he got he got kidnapped. Then she got a phone call talking about, come to the location if you want your child. Oh, damn. <laughs> but I know it. I already know it. It's, it's a little twist to it. I ain't know what it was, though. So I keep reading. So I see. I see. She get down. She get down. That Margot. This is a little chick I'll tell y'all about. I ain't tell you. I ain't tell you about why I think I told y'all about her. introduce her in the, in the beginning. But this is one of the chicks whom she reported to the cops. This is one of her patients. This is just crazy lady, you know. So she she reported her to the cops already, but she uh she she claimed to be her blood her, her blood sister. She like man, you my blood sister. Well, she just found that that Margo. She already knew all it, but. Ayanna, she just now finding all this out. So she like, I gotta figure this out. Who the fuck is you? She like, man, I'm your blood sister, bitch. She like, she like, uh, she like, yeah, you, you, um, uh, she mad as hell. She like, yeah, I'm out to settle the score. What the fuck you talking about? She like, cuz, she like, cuz, um, she was like, cuz, you gotta pay. For what my father did, to what our father did to me, he abandoned me, and you knew all about it. He was like, "What the fuck? I ain't know you was my sister." And how the hell would I know? And trust me, you ooh, just trying to plead her case. So all of a sudden, she uh, Jasmine gets invited to the party. She even got invited to the party, but cause uh, uh, Margot was thinking like, okay. I'm gonna I'm get this bitch and, and I'm gonna get Yasmin. Woo, woo, woo. She got Yasmin to the party. She thought Yasmin was probably gonna want a piece of that bitch because she was just, she always used to go get her hell dear at Yasmin's shop and shit. And Yasmin, y'all always used to be talking about she hate like, Ayana and all this shit. Woo. <laughs> so she like, all right, fuck it. We gonna get together and I'm gonna pop this bitch. And she asked, she was like, Yasmin, come downstairs. She like, down here, woo. Yasmin entered the crib. She like, down here, woo. Yasmin, come down there. She like, so what you want me to do? You want me to shoot this bitch? She was like, <laughs> yeah, I was confused. He was like, what the fuck is going on with this bitch? It's <laughs> like, what you want me to do? You want me to shoot this bitch? Because she was always talking about in the shop. I'm damn, what the fuck? The hell are you want? I can imagine how she was feeling. Anyway, it ends up to make, make a long story short, it ends up, yeah, it ends up disarming. Uh, Margot and shit, and then it created a bond between a uh, Ayana and, and Yasmin, and uh, it was it, it, the bond was mean for a happy ending though. But uh, more of the story, uh, you you never t- you never take nobody that you care for, and they care for you, you know what I'm saying, for granted because. You don't know what the fuck, who the fuck, and, and you know, how the motherfucker act gonna be that you uh, playing a nigga for in the first place, but it also, it also lets you know, you know what I'm saying, that you gotta get to know a motherfucker, because... That nigga could be mentally unstable. And that, that that bitch could be mentally unstable. You feel me? And just like... It could be the other way around. Like, that person could be... A 
angel from heaven. But that's just that's just it though, y'all.